It's week two of the high school football season, but we're in the game now with the season debut of the high school red zone kickoff. Hold your ears. 7 News is Christine Scarpelli live in Walhalla where they have been there early and loud. You better, you better, you better. Wake up, wake up. Yes, we are. We're here at Walhalla, Walhalla. Listen to that band, you guys. You can hear them kick off. J-R-O-T-C, volleyball. Going to talk to them in a second. Check out, cheer. Ladies, ladies, good morning. Yeah, we got so much going on out here, guys. We have Earth FM broadcasting at the same time. We love doing a little radio as well. We're big good friends with them. Um, we have so many things to show you though. You've seen the band all morning, but we've got student government out here as well. And hey, there are parents and admin, but first let's get over here. We're going to talk to volleyball. We got a story for you there, but we're going to do JROTC first. Chase and Ethan, good morning. Tell me, what does JROTC look like at Wahala? So JROTC is a big community um, sense uh, within Wahala, and so we can help out at the football games, whether it be parking, but our big service learning event is actually a meal package event that we do uh, here. I love that. Why is that important, Ethan? Well, man, because we not only feed Wahala, we also feed Washington packages to uh, third world countries like Africa and stuff like that. Bigger than Wahala. Outside of Wahala, there are people that need food as well. And you know what else? They need support because Zoe's got a story. So volleyball is going to be playing West Oak, what, next week? Yes, on Tuesday. Now tell me, what happened here? Because you guys, last time you played West Oak, what happened? So we had no nobody show up at West Oak, and uh, so we decided to do free admission for this game here at home. You're telling me that nobody from Wahala showed up to watch you at West Oak play and support you. Whoa, whoa. First of all, hello. <laughs> hello. Zoe is on a mission. She was on a rampage a second ago. She's angry. What do you want to tell viewers? They better be there. Yeah, we had Mike. Sorry. We had like four people show up. What? Okay, when is the game? Tell people where they need okay, to go. Okay, so it's Tuesday, September 3rd. It's here at home. JB starts at 5.30, and then we follow. So, yeah. Wow. Razorback Volleyball needs your support. Can we give it to them? Good morning, good morning. We've got Craig Diebold with Earth FM. We're glad to have you here, Craig. We just talked to volleyball. We got so much going on. Are you having fun with us? Oh, man, yes, I'm having fun with you. And that band, their band is amazing. They just played the champs tequila, and they were spot on. At a high school, right? That's what we do, tequila. Yes. Anyway, look, it's a morning show. We're going to have fun. We're going to send it back to you guys. Well, holla high, raising the bar this morning. Thanks, Christine. Now, don't forget, 7 News is the place to be for all the football action. Join sports director Pete Yannity tonight for the high school red zone. That's on 7 News at 11. It continues at 1135 on the Carolinas CW. Clemson opens the college football season looking like the same team that dominated in 20.